Now, as many of you know, I am sending so much of my Middlesex memorabilia down to the Spellthorne Museum in Staines, Middlesex. And here is something I have treasured for many, many years, but it has to go. It needs to be treasured and protected. And if anything happens to me, I want to make sure it's in the right place. And I have the box here of Private F.W. Ratcliffe of the Middlesex Regiment. We have his number here, which I'll try and put, put on camera. And it's 1915 to 1918, which of course was the end of the Great War. And you can see his number of Private Ratcliffe. And in his box are his goods and chattels. And share them with me. And this is going to be my memory forevermore on this video. We have his army book where he would write back with his pencil. You can see that many of the pages have been torn out. And this was intact in the box. Then something so special, we can put a face to the name. Here is Private Ratcliffe. And you can see him in civvies, and then on the other side in his Middlesex Regiment uniform. I find this just, there are no words to describe that this person has used that pencil, that's his army book, and his pictures. And then we delve deeper and we find a pair of scissors. And we find in here, I did wonder what I was going to find, and I don't think I expected to find so many bits and pieces, but cotton for sewing on buttons. And where are the buttons? They're in here. This is just incredible. This is the story of a man who went to World War I and was in the trenches. And here's the buttons. And, and sitting there sewing when one of his buttons fell off. This ordinary life at a terrible time carries on. And I just find this, well, I, I look at it every Armistice Day, November the 11th, because it is just so <sighs> touching these things. It's a very sensual thing because your senses are driven by the fact that these have all been used and we're in the war by Private Ratcliffe. And then we have his razor. That was used by a Middlesex Regiment soldier. I just find, I, 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 I'm lost for words in many ways because how do you, how do you describe something that is so personal to one man and yet it's universal as we're sharing this today to all of you Middlesexans and no doubt Spelthorne Museum will put these on show. And we have his watch. And there's no insides to it, because I've taken it to a jeweler and we can't get it to work anymore, but that. Look at how small that wrist is. Tiny little wrist, just about go around mine. And all of these things belong to him. And then finally, the coup de grace. Good way to describe these, because these are his medals here. And around the edge, which you won't be able to see, Barry, my cameraman today, we've tried, but we can't capture what uh, is around the side because it is his name, Private F.W. Ratcliffe, and his army number, 287093. 28703, it's on the box here. These belong to him. 
these medals. We have his Middlesex Regiment cap badge. I mean, that in itself just gives me goosebumps. And then we have his army ident. I believe you, I mean, there's so many of you out there who are experts in this. I'm too young. I never, I was never, ever called up for any reason. Anyway, that's Middlesex. I think it was a shoulder identification, but you'll tell me. And um, there's another one of the buttons. I'm going to put that back in that box. So there we are. The story and the life of Private F.W. Ratcliffe of the Middlesex Regiment. And all these things I have treasured and loved for many, many years. I bought them off uh, a well-known auction site. And they're now going to be sent down to Spelthorne Museum, Staines in Middlesex, where I'm bequeathing all of my stuff. Um, but we had also, very interestingly, another little surprise. Well, a big surprise, really. Because inside the box, also from the Middlesex Regiment, we have Thomas Smith. So, I just find this incredible that we have not one private, but two privates of the Middlesex Regiment. I'm assuming he is. But, of course, I rely on... Colonel John Powell retired for all my Middlesex information. He is our group advisor on all things Middlesex Regiment. And we have his medals. And you'll be able to tell me what they are. Here's one. They have his name on the back. I recognize this one because my grandfather had one of these. And we have his cap badge. There we are. And also this stirrup. So I won't get it out because it's all sealed and ready to go down to state. Was he in the cavalry? Well, we don't know. But what we do know is the life and times of two privates, especially Private F.W. Ratcliffe, during the Great War, World War One, and these are going down to the Spelthorne Museum for you all to see and look and wonder. Thanks for joining me.